Hello everybody, it's Darren Bates with your Two Minute Tuesday for Tuesday, September 1st for UFFS. On the road today, so I'm doing this one out of my vehicle. You can maybe see out the window, it's a little bit of a nastier day. Things are turning around weather-wise. September 1st, first day of September, usually means the start of fall. Cooler temperatures here, particularly in Western Canada where, where I uh, hang my hat. It also usually means the start of NHL and the start of training camps. Of course, we're in a topsy-turvy world. NHL playoffs still going on. Uh, teams still striving to stay within the bubble. Boston, of course, been kicked out. Vancouver, Philadelphia, striving to stay within this bubble tonight. This bubble word has come up so much lately in the terminology. And to me, it's it's kind of conflicting. It's uh, It means contained, restrictive. And I'm not sure that I necessarily like that word, but I think I'm comforted by the word, and this is why. Because here in the fantasy sports world, Bubble takes on a new meeting. To me, it means community, working towards a common purpose within that community. And I got to tell you the things that I've seen on a day in and day out basis in the UFHL community or bubble, if you will. I've seen examples of this camaraderie and cohesiveness every day, whether it's from scouts, scouting agencies like the Alpine Scouting Agency has just put out a big announcement that they're willing to help uh, any UFHL franchise that is not associated with a scout to be able to pick up extra players that they otherwise would not be able to do. Now, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about, and this is the kind of thing that's going to make UFHL and the UFFS bubble or co or community, as, as I see it as a whole, very successful. Also see a lot of uh, things happening and scuttlebutt and conversations between GMs and assistant GMs and everyone working here behind the scenes. It's examples like this that makes me proud, makes me happy to say the word bubble of our uh, of our whole community within the UFFS and UFHL website. So I want to, want to send out a big congratulations and a thank you to everybody that's doing their part. And I see nothing but success in the future. So this is Darren Bates with your Two Minute Tuesday for UFFS Sports, where you own the game.